I'm here with Yonatan, he's the CEO of Regulus. They do cybersecurity for sensors. Obviously, there's more sensors in cars than ever before. So why do they need cybersecurity? Good question. The issue of cybersecurity for sensors is one of the, I would say, more neglected issues. The reason is that the attacks against sensors were quite complex to achieve until, I would say, two, three years ago. And there was a big advancement in the last two, three years. So suddenly the companies um, find out that beyond connected car security, they have another issue around sensors. The three sensors we're looking at are um, radars, leaders, and GNSS, which is basically GPS. And actually, we're today focusing on GPS, uh, not only because it's in cars, but because it's everywhere. It's a huge uh, industry. It's in cars, drones, uh, mobile phones, cellular antennas, networks, critical infrastructure, everywhere. Right, and I understand a little bit about how you might go about hacking GPS coordinates as we're about to see, but how does one hack into a LiDAR or a radar if you don't have access to the actual hardware? So the nice thing about those hacks, at least in the eyes of the hacker, is that this is quite simple. We don't need, if it's a GPS or the radar or the LiDAR, in all those cases, we actually don't need to penetrate the car itself the way um, you know connected car security does. These are all external attacks, meaning that someone is actually transmitting against the sensor. If it's GPS, they will transmit um, the GPS frequency. And if it's a LiDAR or radar, they will transmit either uh, radio frequencies against the radar, creating fake obstacles or removing obstacles. And against the LiDAR, it will be blinding it with lasers or, or sending fake lasers to, to um, basically manipulate the system. So the attack is out of the system. It's actually in the, in the real world. How sophisticated do you need to be to have these hacks or these attacks on a moving vehicle? So this is all you need. You can buy this for $100 on Amazon. You download some free software off the internet and you're good to go. You need to know a little bit of, about what you're doing. But uh, actually, there's, there's a lot of uh, also information in the internet of how to do those spoofs. The, the software is available. We're using this and using this little device. It's called the Software Defined Radio. Uh, today, we have 100% success in spoofing any GNSS receiver we tested on cars, on phones, um, whatever, from uh, $5,000 receivers to $10 receivers. Uh, it's quite simple, actually. I'm here with Rowie, and he's going to show me the Regulus uh, demo that they have here. Basically, there is an antenna inside of this box that is sending fake GPS signal data. So I've volunteered my phone for the purposes of this demo. As you could see right here, our location is inside of the Expo TLV Center. Uh, and we're going to put it into this device, and Rowie's going to explain to us what's happening. Yes. So. We put the phone inside the box and we're going to monitor the whole time the phone with this webcam. So we can see live what's going on on the phone screen on the laptop. So let's just let it focus. Okay. Now as you can see the phone currently shows uh, it's like Rabin Center and the Tel Aviv Expo where we're currently located. And I'm now spoofing the phone to think it's going towards the north of Israel, the city of Haifa. And I'm generating real GPS signals, but they are stronger than the GPS signals coming from space. As you can see, the phone jumped. Let's see the real-time location now. So we are now in the north of Israel. Let me put just the cover back on. We are now in the north of Israel at the city of Haifa in real time. And now the phone is certain of a few things. First of all, that it's currently in the middle of the city of Haifa. Second, that it's currently driving on a road because we made the phone think it's currently driving south towards Tel Aviv. And we also have the capability of influencing the date and time of the phone. So complete control over time, date, location and speed of the target. Just like you can do with any autonomous car or a regular car today. That's pretty shocking. The only devices needed to do this were a very simple uh, piece of hardware that you could buy for $100 online, a $10 antenna, and the strength of that signal is powerful enough to overpower this convention center's connection to the satellites for GPS and uh, place us in a false location. So, uh, Roy, thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Uh, thank you for visiting Regulus Booth. And uh, please check out our website for real videos of what happens when you spoof an actual car. Okay, cool. We're definitely going to include that. Thanks so much. Thank you.